Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Dr. Colin Hill and I teach at Tennessee Tech University. I'm going to spend just a few minutes talking about the ETS BOA 11th and 12th grader Mala Etude. Uh, this one's not too bad. There's a few little things in the beginning. I think the biggest thing in the beginning is connecting the rolls so you get a really nice legato sound. Uh, this is going to be a little bit challenging because there's a large leap between notes. Uh, but with a little bit of practice you guys can do it. What you don't want is this disconnected sound. Here's an example of disconnected sound. All right, it doesn't have very much connectivity to it. Um, doesn't sound very lyrical. So instead, if you can connect right to that C, right, you get that nice connection. All right, so when you put it in context. section, these triplets, all right, still try to connect those rolls to the next note. In measure seven, we have, it's a little bit of a tricky passage, really it comes down to sticking, so if you start with your left hand on the D natural and just alternate, it works pretty well, all right, all right, and then you get to the dotted eighth note section. Just be careful not to rush this rhythm. It's really easy to do. And you can think about this two ways. One, you can think about it just as one, a two, and three E, all right? Which works perfectly fine. So for example, it sounds like this. One, a two, and three E, one, all right? Or to help with the modulation, you can think about them as 16th notes in groups of three, all right? So in measure seven, we have sixteenths, and then you just continue that rhythm in groups of three. So it sounds like this. All right, and that really helps with the modulation because those groups of three become the new eighth note triplet. All right, so for example, it's like this. section you just continue in that new tempo we've just established and this is pretty straightforward we're holding three mouths which is maybe a little bit different than we're used to all right I would suggest having a music stand with a towel or just a towel on the low end of the marimba and the only really tricky thing about this passage is when you get to measure 17 uh, and you have at the end of the measure you have this pickup all right it sounds like this the only problem with that is it's kind of quick and it's supposed to be crescendo, it's supposed to be getting louder. So I found that it's easier if you play it with that sticking, all right? Three, four, three. You really wanna make sure that it's loud enough to hear, all right? And sometimes it's hard to get volume from using just that one mallet. Um, so a little bit of practice, you can really bring that out in that spot. And then the end is very similar to back at measure eight, we have dotted eighth notes, and those become the new quarter note poles. All right. So if you guys have any more questions on this, please feel free to contact me on Facebook or email me, um, and hopefully this helps you out a little bit. Best of luck.